Hi there, I am back again. This time around I am going to show you something a bit different. Uh, the final product will be uh, something which you can use on the blogger but because I can only upload 10 minutes of YouTube video therefore I will break down this video into few pieces and will show you step by step how to create that uh, blogger widget. Uh, my widget this time will deal with YouTube so to begin with let me show you the final product which I have created uh, I haven't gone up to the bloggers part it's just a simple JavaScript jQuery uh, widget and you can run it from any website you want uh, let me show you the final product uh, this is the final product you can see that uh, this is a sliding you can see that th this is a sliding video uh, slideshow kind of a thing and uh, you can bring videos related to any of the tags you want like look here I have used the tag India you can use any other tag which you want say for instance uh, dance or something anything you want and you can give multiple tags you can use all the tags any of the tags or random tags whatever you want you can also get your own uploaded videos or anybody else's public uploaded videos you can get playlist again uh, it has to be public for other people or for your own uh, playlist videos you can do anything you like say for instance uh, let's use this one to just to show that you can get uh, uh, videos from uh, playlist and click done and here you go see this is my playlist it's all uh, Indian songs so uh, you can see you can bring your own playlist and embed it on your own uh, website and uh, it gives a different kind of feel to your website you know like there are videos you can show or playlists you have already created which deals with your website's um, subject matter but uh, this is quite a long uh, programming tutorial so let's start with a very basic technology which I have used in this uh, tutorial the very basic thing which I'm using is YouTube and Google API all right now the thing is if you want to make cross domain uh, request from your script you need a proxy or a server code like a PHP code or a ASP code which you uh, upload it anyway suppose you want to do it through the script and make a cross domain request to bring data through the script how do you do that uh, I have read about it and there are many different ways of doing it but the best and the easiest which I have found is a jQuery function called get JSON or get JSON whichever way you want to pronounce uh, what it does if any of your uh, servers return data in a JSON um, format it will fetch that format from for you directly from your script you do not have to write any PHP or server side code for it now JSON is a bit different from XML it's actually nearly the same but it is the way of writing it is a bit different and YouTube also adds many things to it so let's see uh, a basic request which I have sent to YouTube through my browser I haven't used any code anything it's just through my browser and what I get back let's let's have a look I have requested something from YouTube uh, and the query is again India the query tag is India and this is the request which I have this is the result which I have got back yes I know it looks quite uh, intimidating but actually it's quite easy I will break it down into smaller pieces just now and let's see what actually has come back in a smaller way okay here you go this is just one entry all right there's not the whole uh, result this is just one entry the first video now the root entry is as you can see this is entry okay this is the root inside entry you will have different videos which will have different um, uh, properties like the first property you can see is ID then the publishing date then category 
then the title and so on and so forth. What we have to do is to treat this as a double dimension or a multi dimension array or a multi dimensional associative array, which is a JavaScript concept as you might be aware. So these are the keys and these are, are the values. Okay, this is the value and ID and dollar $t. This is the key. This is the first dimension, this is the second dimension. You can look it in this way. Okay, now suppose I want to get the title. So if I want to get the title, the first dimension or the first key is title and the second key is dollar $t and the value is in this one. Okay, do I, do I make myself clear? Okay, now let's see a more important part. Mm, okay, here we go. Media group. Most of the videos which can be embedded or which can be used on your website is uh, it will have a media group uh, tag. Okay. Now media group has all the necessary information for you to uh, embed. Okay. First thing media category as you know it will show you the category. Then the media content. Then is the media description which is a short bio of the video. Then the media keyword. Then the media thumbnail. This is the thumbnail which is shown on YouTube when uh, you link to a video or when you search for a video. This is the thumbnail which is shown. Okay. And depending on the height and the width, there are three different kind of uh, thumbnails which is showing. Then this is the media title. Okay. This is the title you can use. And on top, you can see the link. This is the link to your video. All right. And the unique ID for the video is this one if you can see this is the xml code basically u003 uh, and uh, this this is a code and this one you see b v f h19 r5 y r a y this is the unique id for this video you can write a simple javascript code to parse this thing and use it to embed it in your uh, player I will show you a way of doing it without passing it. You can do it without passing it or with passing it depending on your choice. Okay. Now this is simple JSON one entry of the request which you just made. Okay. Now remember this, this is a multi-dimensional array, a multi-dimensional associative array with keys and values. Okay. Now let's begin. To write a code as you know I use Visual Studio and I have already written the code I will just go on explaining it because it's a very long code and I cannot type it on the video okay get search video. this is my JavaScript class I will show you the whole class later but this is a JavaScript class and this is one of the methods inside it it takes a tag tag is not a single tag tag txt is a comma separated string which can have multiple tags or a single tag it can also have a single tag it doesn't have to be multiple okay then this is boolean operator this is uh, this represents and or or random and means you must include all the tags in your search or means any of the tags can be used for the search and random means pick and choose by the uh, computer and this is format format is basically nothing but to filter out all the videos which are not embeddable that means the uh, the uploading uh, party the person who has uploaded the videos has put some uh, restriction on the video uh, I, ha I will not go into a detail of format for now uh, but uh, later when we go on to jquery and building the software we will go into that uh, format concept okay now let's begin uh, first thing is that you get the tag text and split it according to comma then you use and or not check whether it's and or or random sorry not ra the third one is random and then create a query string query string is nothing if it is and it is enclosed between double quotes just to make it a uh, just to make it as and and if it is an or it is not enclosed within double uh, quotes and instead of a plus sign between the tags a pipe sign is used simple as that random again a pipe sign will be used but it will use only random values depending on the tags you have 